Hey everyone, we've had some heavy rains here in the South Island, here in New Zealand. So I'm just heading off to some of my favorite spots to see if anything new is washed out. I had to wait for the rivers to calm down a bit because it was a bit too dangerous to cross. Uh, whenever the water's murky, I don't cross the river, I wait for it to clear up a bit. So at least you can see where the holes are. Uh, because last time I tried that, I fell into a hole and drowned my other camera. <laughs> but yeah, let's go see what we can find. This is what I was hoping to find. You can see this has all been washed away. So it's washed away some of the dirt and left behind the heavier rocks. And hopefully somewhere amongst these, we're gonna find a fossil. And this is Cretaceous, so dinosaur aged. Might find Mosasaur, Plesiosaur, or even something rarer in amongst here. Come on, New Zealand dinosaur. <laughs> somewhere there's got to be like a velociraptor skull just sitting here if you do see something on screen that I've missed please let me know it's quite possible that you could spot something on the screen that I've missed here I'm not sure yet if we've got anything here but if you look over there that's an interesting looking rock at the bottom there don't think it's anything not seeing any of that bone structure in there let's keep looking it's only a matter of time oh look what I see look at that concretion over there that's definitely worth a look that's a good shape Oh no, <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> it's very much empty. That was such a good looking concretion too. I thought there was going to be a nice plesiosaur vertebra in the middle there. So this is the same place where I found my best ever plesiosaur vertebra maybe three years ago. And down here, I'm seeing almost exactly the same shape. Have a look down here. You see that little bit of bone sticking out there? It's got a circular curve to it. Right over there. And I think, yeah. Look at that piece of bone over there. So I think we're looking at another plesiosaur or mosasaur bone in here that is so exciting <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what this cross section could be I think we're looking at the dorsal process it's got that shape to it but yeah that's that's made the trip worthwhile I assume inside there we can have quite a bit of the bone Awesome. Just had to be patient here. <laughs> See if we can find something else. I was just exploring up the river without my camera and I found a big piece of bone. I haven't had a proper look at it, so let's go have a quick look. There it is, this one over here. And the craziest thing is, look, there's my footprint from earlier today. So I just went further up river and saw it on the way back. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's definitely bone. I think it's only a fragment though. Don't know if you can see it. Let's just turn it a bit. Yeah, that's definitely bone over there. That section's bone. It's only a fragment. And then there's a small fragment there as well. Yeah, it's going through the rock. It's going through the rock. So there it is as well. It's not looking in great shape though. 
looks rather eroded it's not as exciting as I first thought <laughs> there's the, that bone over there and there I think it's just, just some fragments I was hoping for something a bit more diagnostic but yeah at least there's fresh bone around I'll keep on looking I'm in a different area now and you can see how this has been washed away over here just gonna spend my time looking through there see if there's any new fresh fossils or petrified wood or anything like that over in there I'll let you know if I find something Starting to find some more shells over here, some fossil shells. This one's absolutely packed with some teratella looking shells. Have a look over there, there's literally hundreds of fossil shells in there. Beautiful. <laughs> look at that side. Just stacked full of them. Here's some nice bryozoan. To see it over there and quite often this used to fool me um, I used to think it was bone especially when you get a, a dense piece like this piece down here I often used to think like that would be bone but yeah this is a bryozoan quite a nice one too they're still around today and to get the species I think you have to get a thin section of it so like a five micron thick piece of this so that you can see the structure of it the sun's just about setting and it's only like 4 30 so it's definitely winter and I'm at these beautiful cliffs over here I'm not sure what age they are but they they're really beautiful in this light I'm just looking through these areas where the, the flood waters have come through and I've been finding lots of shells, so many shells and I'm looking for some bone and this is where I used to find and this is the same place where I found two whale vertebrates before and I think I might have just found another one okay it's in the picture now, see if you can spot it pause the video if you have to it's definitely a vertebrae of some type I'm gonna guess whale based on the age, I think it's Miocene so it's not dinosaur age, it's not a dinosaur or a plesiosaur or a mosasaur vertebra pretty sure it's a whale vertebra it's too big for dolphin and we didn't have elephants here in New Zealand or not that I know of yet <laughs> let's go take a closer look have a look at that, that's a beautiful vertebra just zoom in a bit that is amazing <laughs> that's a decent size you can see the suture lines going over there for the epiphyses there on both ends yeah that's beautiful it's still got some of the, the sediment around it which is full of shells you can see the bone structure, the cancellous, the bone sticking out and it's probably filled in with calcite mineral and over there, over there that darker brown so that's the cortical part of the bone so that's the outer bone surface it hasn't worn away uh, below this mud over here but this is where it's tumbled down the river and it's worn away 
And finding it over here tells us that obviously these whale bones are coming from upriver. And past a certain point I've never found them, so obviously they'd be in between where we are now and about probably two kilometers upstream. Somewhere in there is where these bones are coming from. And that's what I need to find. Let me just get it packed away nicely. That's a decent weight as well. Here are those two vertebrae I found today. Well, one definite vertebrae, this one, uh, which I think is the whale one, and this hopefully plesiosaur something. Uh, not too sure what it is yet. I'm thinking it might be a vertebra. Um, let's get a bit of water on there, see if we can make the bone stand out a bit. I don't think it helped too much, but yeah, that's definitely the bone over there. And then we've got the the bone on the the side there. I'll have to prep it to see what it is. This is the other vertebra I found there from the same location. This is a plesiosaur vertebra. My best one I found and I'm thinking it's either a cross section through the, the dorsal process or one of these lateral ones that we're seeing. I don't know what other part it would be. I'm gonna have to prep it though to find out. <laughs> and here's that beautiful whale vertebra with uh, the sediment still in it. I think that's where the process came up. I'm not gonna prep it, I'm gonna leave it as is. And that's the epiphyses there, so the end cap of the, the centrum of the vertebra. It's missing all the, the processes, they've been worn away, but yeah, they would have been coming out the side there. Yeah, I'm happy with that, that's two really good finds, and we get to prep this one. <laughs> it's always good finding something that's worth prepping. I've had some more of those fossil cards printed. These are the ones I sent to patrons. I ran out of the first initial batch. So I've printed some more. They from I use playingcards.co.nz and they do an awesome job of printing these. Always looks so satisfying when they they next to each other like that. 250 new sets in here, and this is my card game I made of New Zealand fossils. Some of them are my fossils, like there's the turtle skull, my giant crab, some of my other really famous New Zealand ones. <laughs> Even a frog in there and a tree. How you play it is you divide the cards in half, there's 30 of them, and then you try and beat someone else's stats. So if I say size is 1.2, uh, that's also 1.2, but this is a 5 meter, so this card would win, and then you take the other card, and the person with all the cards at the end is the winner. Go check out my Patreon channel, this is one of the perks. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed that mission down the river. Uh, two awesome vertebrae, so I'm really happy with finding those and 
I'll get you prepping that one soon and we can see what's going on inside there. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt. <laughs>